And so I got a handful of, of comments here that may be um, some conversation starters, if you will. So okay. our boy God Mode is back. And, you know, we were just talking about power sets and whatnot. Um, here's a question. You know, who would you choose gaining all of their powers but also wearing their mask for the rest of your life. So there's a lot of characters in the comics where, you know, they got power sets, but they're stuck wearing a mask, right? right. So his list here consists of Darth Vader, okay? Mm -hmm. Spawn, mm -hmm. Venom, not really a mask, but a, sure. you know, mask your whole body, I guess. <laughs> Deadpool, Doctor Doom, and Doctor Fate. So you have to pick one of these. You, you know, you, if you pick Doctor Doom, your face is disfigured, you're wearing the mask, but you get his powers. If you pick Deadpool, you look like that, you know, um, what do they say, like an avocado had sex with a rotten avocado or something like that. So your face will look like that, but you'll have, you'll be essentially immortal. So if you had to pick one, Adrian, what, what, what would you, um, what would you sacrifice here? These are the tough questions, by the way. I'd roll with uh, Deadpool. Okay. I, I've I've always, you know, leaned toward that immortality thing. Yeah. And, I mean, we already know. I mean, it do, doesn't really matter what you look like. It's what you do. <laughs> right, right. And okay. I, it's just, there's a whole lot of reasons. But, yeah. Got that. it. So, Deadpool. I yeah. mean, power set. Yeah, he's probably the only one on here that's immortal. I definitely wouldn't pick Spawn. As cool as he is, I mean, he's dead. You know? Right. So well, there's that. Darth Vader, I mean, he, I mean, he's... No, nah, I would definitely not pick Darth Vader. You can't even <laughs> breathe without the suit, you know? Right. Um, Number one would have been, I mean, one and two, Deadpool, Doom. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll go with Doom. Mm. Um, Venom would be kind of cool, too, but a little bit out of control, you know? Yeah, no, I, 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 can't, I can't do that. Um, that whole, the same reason I didn't do, choose uh, Dr. Fate. Yeah. Because Dr. Fate is possessed. Right, right. You know, Venom is Possess more or less. Yeah. You know, so I, I can't do that. Somebody else is driving the car and stuff. Yep. I got you. I think I would I would do mine's refer I would pick Doctor Doom first, right. number one, sure. and then Deadpool second, because I mean obviously he's cool as shit. So right. you go, God mode's back, dude. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. You know, good question, God mode. And you know, how do I how do you get on the show, you ask? You just ask a good question, that's right. all. You know, and stay consistent. So Exactly. Um Dookie Golf says Dookie Golf. <laughs> so Dookie, are you, you are you shitty at golf? Is that why your name's Dookie Golf? <laughs> or or do you think golf is shit? I mean, it could be a multitude hey. of things, you know. That could be a whole segment, dude. Try to figure out what people's exactly. name, you know. And exactly. this is the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, I brought it up last week. I'm like, dude, we should <laughs> what what do people think about when they come up with their names? Yeah. I mean, dude, that like Dookie or maybe his name's Duke. Could be, maybe, you know, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's a big fan of Dukes of Hazard, <laughs> Or the Duke. The Duke, okay. Who who died with 70 pounds of shit in him. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, here's what Dukey Duke Golf has he? to say. He says, um, Robert Downey Jr. will do a great job. I just think bringing him back supports my argument that Endgame could have had a different ending. So, um, I don't know if it supports that argument, but that's a – a, a, a statement that we have said here before, they shouldn't have killed off um, I, I, Iron Man. I, you still feel that way? I still feel that way. Yeah. I mean, he had a long, long um, um, run yeah. uh, to go in, in comics and, you know, the MCU and live action. Right. Now, do you think, w would it have been a, a better um, choice to kill off another character or maybe do the same type of ending but not have him die. Maybe have him kind of injured for a while, out of commission for, you know, a handful of movies. You know what I mean? Like, he snaps. He don't die, but he's pretty <laughs> fucked up for a while, and then we, we don't see him for a few years. Like, Or do you think they should have just killed off somebody else in lieu of, of Iron Man? Well, well, they, well <laughs> they did kill off several people, yeah. but um, it's, I, I, I guess it's just kind of hard for a character that's central – Yep. That's been around forever, right? Continues to live in the comics, and then you kill him off in the movies. Um, mm. Even Black Widow. Right. I mean, I, kind of a B level, C level character, yeah. but still. Yeah, like, um, you kind of miss her in the movies now. Right, right. So, kill off somebody else. I mean, but then you got the Star Trek stuff, right? Yeah. If if some new lieutenant that you or ensign shows up on the show. And they beam down to a planet, you know he's not coming back, mm -hmm. right? So you got that kind of stuff. So in, what I'm saying is, you have the main characters that nothing ever happens to them, right? But they happens to somebody else. Um, but you know what? At this point, I think that 
we have seen enough of Iron Man to where we can kill him off and move on to the next thing because we still got thousands of other characters mm-hmm. that we can explore. Yeah. You know? One one of the um, focal points of D23 was <clears throat> Ironheart, the show. Uh-huh. So we saw the character, Riri Williams, introduced in Wakanda Forever. Mm-hmm. We've not talked about that much. I think that the movie came out before we were doing this show, I believe. Um or maybe it was just maybe we glossed over. I don't remember, but I forget what what was your feeling on Ironheart and um, Riri Williams that that actress's portrayal in that movie. I think she did a good job, but mm-hmm. again, I don't have any context because I never seen the character yeah. before. Um, I think it was a good good portrayal of. Would you want to see more of that character? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, but. In the back of your mind, you're always going to be comparing that character to Iron Man. Right. So unless that character does something on that level, mm-hmm. then it's like, no, just leave her a part of something else. Yeah. And in the comics, their, her origin was a little different. I, I've not read, I, I don't think I've ever seen Ironheart in a comic that I've read, but I remember when they introduced her. She's a newer character. Mm-hmm. And it was something to do. I don't know if she met Tony Stark or there was some type of grant or something through a, a, co- a program where he left something to it. But there, there was a, a stronger connection mm-hmm. outside of just like, you know, her emulating him in the movie because they never right. met in these movies. Um, so there was a deeper connection. Again, this is one of those parts where y'all can correct us if you want, you know. Fact um, check. Yeah, fact check it. But there was a, a deeper connection there. So <laughs> it is a little odd seeing an Iron Man-esque character with no connection mm-hmm. to Iron Man, you know. Well, I would rather see an Iron Man esque character than see a gender regendered version oh, of a main. This is character. Tanya Stark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't want to see like, that. No, no, not at, all. not at all. No, or I guess it could be Tony with an I. You know, we just change the uh, Tony Stark. There you go. So yeah, you'd rather not see that. I'd rather not see um, that. But yeah, I, I I do agree with Dookie Golf here. Endgame could have had a different ending. Now it was an impactful moment in sure. the movies, but it's almost like that would have been a good moment to end the MCU or reboot the MCU on. Mm-hmm. But it's like we're gonna kill the main character, then try to continue with this, you know, peace male universe that we have going on right, right. now. And and I don't know, maybe they're they're you know bringing it back with this next phase of movies, and everything will make sense. But. I kind of agree with Dookie here. They could have had a different um, outcome. They could have killed off Thor. Nobody would have missed him. Yeah, there you go. Especially after that stretch. Yeah, we wouldn't have seen Thor Love and Thunder. Exactly. So, yeah, it would have been exactly. a good time to kill him off. Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude, that's one that I really hope they restore because they built that character up so well. Yeah. Like his power, you know, in Infinity War and then even in Endgame at mm-hmm. the end. Like, dude went toe-to-toe with Thanos mm-hmm. when he had all the stones. Right. I mean, think about that. I know, you know, he, he got him with the snap, but – when he threw Stormbreaker down and it's like digging into, dude, he was inches away from killing this guy right. with all the damn Infinity Stones. Those right. powerful ass being, right. and then to have them just take a, you know, speaking of Dookie, taking a giant Dookie on my man in right. Thor: Love and Thunder. Holy shit! No, what really messed that whole thing up because they could have took him out. Um, um, what's his face from Star Lord? Star Lord, dude, I. Yeah. Anyway, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, his stupid. Yeah, that was. I, I think with Thor, it was really the reason why he didn't kill them. I think it was true to the Thor character. Thor's always had this air of arrogance, right? Mm-hmm. So he was kind of like, instead of finishing him, he had to talk shit, right? right. He, threw, he got the thing and he's like, I told you I'd kill. Bro, just kill him. Right. Stop. It was kind of like, I don't know if you saw this, the Olympics. There was, um, I forget what country it was, but it was a race. And the, the, the girl racing was in third place. Mm-hmm. And she celebrated a little too early and then the fourth place person passed her like she's getting close to the finish line and she kind of takes it off she's like yeah yeah i got this and this other chick's like fuck you bitch and just goes right by her dude <laughs> lost third place it's like <clears throat> no it's not like that but <laughs> it, haven't people seen enough of people doing that kind of shit right over right. over the years to know that until you you're over the finish line Yo. you don't celebrate come on man dude that's 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 got to be a horrible like you've worked because it ain't like you know you just showed oh the Olympics are this week let's go yeah. like you worked years for this moment right. and you had it right you know and it was kind of thought well I too. mean it's it's not like she had first place right true but, I mean but she also lost you know so so she gets the purple 
ribbon now. Yeah. Instead of the the she what is get it? to be on the, the podium now, dude. Right, exactly. She's gonna be she's over here clapping for them while they're on the podium, you know. Oh, I can guarantee you she ain't clapping. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. No, the only thing I've seen about the Olympics is um somehow like because only because I open up like a browser and it yeah. comes up with all this news. Some girl, she got like a zero zero because Oh, she fell the diver. No, she didn't Was that one? Well, she fell because when she did her turn, her feet Hit the board, Hit right? the board. Yes. So that. Dude, that's, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I, I, I I couldn't even imagine, like, you know, years. Yeah. You work in years. This yep. shit has never happened before. Right. And then in front of everybody, well, you got a this zero. happens. Damn, that sucks. That fucking sucks. But anyways, that's our, uh, our Olympic coverage here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the names. We don't even know the countries. Right. We just know some shit that happened. Yeah, you know? right, right. I do know uh, gymnastics, U.S. gymnastics kicked ass. Simone Biles won a shit ton of medals, and yep, yep. that was cool. Um, and then last night or the other night I was watching a volleyball there's everything's at the damn Olympics. It was a volleyball right. game, men's Wall volleyball. Wall climbing. Yeah, uh, break that, dancing that, is in that, there this year. <laughs> What? Yes, there's a break dancing. Oh, come yeah, on, man. I, I thought I thought they were they got ridiculous when they had the the broom with the the, oh, the ball of ice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the hell is Dude. that, man? That is crazy. Um, yeah, badminton's in the Olympics. You know what should be in the Olympics? Wait a minute, what? Badminton. Bad. What's that? Um, it's like uh, you use a tennis racket over a, like a volleyball height net, and it's that little birdie thing has a ball in the end and a little plastic. Yeah, it's like a uh, you know you, you do this movement. Yep. I saw something that was like half soccer, half tennis, half. Well, you can't get three no. halves, but <laughs> three part halves. soccer, yeah. part tennis, part football. Was it rugby? Where they take the ball, they're running around. Yeah. Um, they can like slam the ball. They can throw the ball. They can do all these weird outdoors. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Is it rugby? Maybe I. I don't yeah, know. Rugby just, is a pretty yeah interesting sport. But. Just just stuff, man. It's like. Whatever. You know what they need to have, Adrian? Next next Olympics, comic podcasting Olympics. You know, <laughs> have us there. I think we win. I think we take gold. I minimally. I I, I think so. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and according to some no, of they, our they, fans, no, they have to give a, have a whole new category. Get some platinum up in that <laughs> yes, joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta have something above gold. Some we're vibranium, showing. most. <laughs> you got gold. You got vibranium. You got adamantium. Yep. You know, there you go. There you go. Um, so anyways. Set a new standard up in this joint. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, my man, Eat uh, Chicken Six. Speaking of names, dude, <laughs> Eat Chicken Six. <laughs> all righty. Now, we all eat Well, not all of us. There's some people that are vegetarians, vegans, but we eat chicken here, right? You're a big oh, chicken guy? Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. not a big chicken guy. No, but. no. Okay. I like, I like me some chicken, you know, a lot of mm. protein. Um, I don't know where the six involved. Like, are you eating six Chicken, maybe you like to get the six tender piece, you know, right, at a time, maybe six nuggets, you know, who knows? Yeah. Um, speaking of nuggets, I mean, I, I, you know, you got McDonald's, you got Wendy's, you got Burger King. Uh, if I'm a nugget guy, do I think I'm going Wendy's? Wendy's got some of the best nuggets. Never had Wendy's nuggets. Really? No. Uh, Are you a chicken nugget guy if you're going fast food or what's I'm your a, go to? I'm a, um, um, now I forget the name of it. What was I just talking about the other day? Um, I remember. Chicken and JoJo's. Oh, oh, yes. Chicken, chicken and JoJo's. JoJo's okay, guys. okay. Forget all the nuggets. Yes. Yep. Chicken and JoJo's. There you go. Big slices of chicken breast. Yep. With them slices. That's it, dude. There you go. Some hot sauce, some sour cream. I don't give a damn about no nuggets. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Um, all right. Next up, eat chicken six. <laughs> he says, Professor Hulk was so trash, they really did Hulk a huge disservice. Like, Hulk should have had his own movie. I, I agree with eat chicken here the professor hulk was garbage uh, we were talking about this a few weeks ago and then there was someone in the comments like do you know that that happened in the comics like okay let me let me fill all y'all in on something here just because it happens in the comics adrian doesn't mean it's fucking good right right, right? like have you ever read a bad comic uh yeah have you ever seen something really stupid in a comic <laughs> yeah uh martha <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was from the comics. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's like that's a lot of times the argument, right? Like, what happened in the comic doesn't mean it's fucking good, dude. Like, there's plenty of shit. So, no, I'm, I agree that um, it's Professor Hulk, not for me. I, I, um, it made – it's weird because it was funny in the movie, mm -hmm. and it was like they were – Endgame was about moments, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like they were going for that moment, that <clears> shock <throat> of, you know, Hulk sitting in the, the booth in the diner and taking – it was funny, 
But what you didn't realize when you're sitting there laughing is we now lost that big rage Hulk fucking everything up, which right. I think if, if you're weighing the two, I'd, I'd prefer to have that rage version back, you know? It's like a nice Godzilla, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Godzilla is to the, well, New York is to Tokyo like the Hulk is to Godzilla. Yep. Now imagine Godzilla smaller, right? Because the Hulk, the smart Hulk, Hulk is smaller. Um, Godzilla's smaller, and he's going around teaching everybody and taking, you know, about how to, like, breathe fire and, you know, shaking hands with the kids and all that. Mm -hmm. There's no Godzilla. Right. Because what does Godzilla and Tokyo, why are they together? Because Godzilla's always always wrecking Tokyo. The Hulk is always destroying New York. Right. So you got the smart Hulk and no destruction. You got the no. smart Godzilla, no Tokyo destruction. So yeah. it's just stupid. Yeah, yep, unnecessary. And then you get, uh, we, we also, we were comparing Edward Norton's Hulk to um, yes. Mark Ruffalo a few weeks ago. Yep, there's no comparison. Yaya Diaz PR says, it's not Ruffalo's fault, though. It's the creators. And this is where I say, we don't need social media attorneys. No one said it's his fucking fault. We're just saying he wasn't as good as the other guy who played Hulk. Right. That's my feeling. That's my statement. R- Ruffalo's getting a check just like yeah. Norton was getting a check. Right. But well, no one's two, blaming the actor. Like, it's all your fault. <laughs> like, dude, they're just people. Yeah, but it sounds like it's Norton's fault that he didn't play Hulk. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Again, <you> know? <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's definitely uh, his fault there. But, no, I'm not blaming Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo's a great actor. I've seen him in a lot of other movies sure. that – but. I'm if I'm picking one out of the two, I like the Edward Norton. Right. You know, well, you don't like Mark Ruffalo's acting. Um, I don't remember seeing him in much. He was funny. He actually was in a movie with um, Robert Downey Jr. where they were detectives. It was the Zodiac case. You ever seen that movie? I think no. the movie's called Zodiac. It's like one of those um, murder crime thrillers that's based sure. on a true story. But it's, it's really funny seeing those two in that environment because like. They their look in that movie is similar to Peter Parker or Peter Parker, um, Bruce Banner and Tony Stark. So huh. yeah, it's pretty. It's it's um, throws you off a little bit. But you ever seen um, Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, Jr.'s uh, Sherlock? I've movies? seen pieces. I've never seen the whole yeah, movie. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. Cool. Yeah, I heard he does a good job as Sherlock yeah. Holmes. Wait, he can play someone else that's not Tony Stark? <gasps> Shocker! Oh my God! Holy <laughs> shit! I just stop the tape. <laughs> I can't D- take didn't this. he? Didn't he get like an? A- uh, Oscar or something? Yeah, fans, yeah. Somebody else? You, you think he got an Oscar because he did a bad job, or <laughs> I don't know. I oh, well, apparently he was able to separate himself from uh, Tony Stark and play this other character so yeah. well. Yeah, I'm and just the, saying. The Academy gave him an award. You yep. know, so hey, what do we know? You know, we're just a couple I, podcasters here hanging out. That's so. it. Um, 